their reach. They're going to be on the attacking side here on Rialto. And this is a map that's given us some weird situations, right? Like, teams that are good at defending really have success on this map by preventing that attacking team from getting around the first bend even sometimes. I'm sure some uh, people at home, like, well, I mean, if you play a ton of Overwatch, right, and you play Rialto and Comp, you kind of understand, like, sometimes, like, you just get stuck here on first point. It's nothing you can really do. Zachary trying to line up maybe, like, a whip shot, knocking somebody off or something along those lines. But usually a lot of holds happen before first point here. Yeah, he's going to look to try and... Oh, yep. A couple shots on Munchkin. Probably would have been a shield bash whip shot to get him into the water. Doesn't really work, and Munchkin now gets to sort of be the king of the castle, at least of that high ground. Dallas, give her a little bit of ground. The question is, when do they stop? What we saw them do, I always saw Washington do actually a couple of days ago, was give a lot of this away, just keep backing up. Dallas here have decided this is what they want to fight. So it's when they put the foot down and Sol go, okay, now we go to the high ground. Dallas go, well, we were going to we stay like here that. on the cart. Yeah. yeah. We didn't like you going up there. We're going to play on the statue. I mean, great position for Flader to be charging up a lot. As he's just expecting to get spammed down by the guys on the Dallas Fuel. He doesn't mind. Give him some time to charge up that yeah. Graviton. He'll be happy. AKM, though, was keeping in step on those percentages. The big difference is Fisher. Fisher between o Fisher and OGE. Fisher is way closer to that first Earth Shadow, and that may be the difference maker here. Ooh, I think the difference oh. now is RCK gets D Mac. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, OG just comes right up in Fisher's grill. Okay, clever. If Dallas realized they had to get a little bit of aggressive, aggressive to make up for the lack of player, and then AKM shuts down Jaxa, and Dallas are now winning the fight. That's very composed uh, sort of trading from Dallas. And these first fights, it's tough to lose. It's uh, Fletter takes out closer, but he will get back pretty quick. But he had the charge. So Fletter gets away from Dallas there. It's annoying for Dallas. Actually, a really good trade for Dallas. Yes. You're totally fine with your Lucio dying as long as you kill the enemy Zarya, who has a ton of charge. He's going to get back. I mean, Close is already back. He's ready to fight again. Transcendence is on the line for both of those Zenyatas. And once more, Sol will ascend the marble staircase to the Ivory Tower. But they have to find a way to get off this high ground without anyone getting picked off. It seems like uh, they just keep going up there and using the Zarya beam to just whether work down OG's shield. Just get some, because uh, there, there's no shield needed for Fissure up on the high ground. They can just come up there and just work down OG shield and then work their way down to the low ground. Oh no! There that's it like, is! That's like the third one Michelle's eaten this game. He's so good. He gets knocked to the ground though. AKM's Graviton being eaten doesn't really amount to much. Fisher came forward there, but he took a little bit too much damage early in the fight. So he was going backwards when the rest of Soul were going forwards with that transcendence. It took him a little bit of while to get back in step. He's not overly really sprightly in that big heavy suit of armor and AKM gets two more and he'll be back with another grab in no time. He is absolutely crushing tonight. His Zarya on King's Row was crazy. Coming out now, above 90 charge, you know, above 50% average energy right now, 35% of the team damage put down thus far. AKM's having himself a nine. 72% for that grab. Again, keep an eye on sort of how much damage Fisher takes early on in these little engagements and, and how Sol responds to it. He was out of sync with the rest of his team just a little bit in that last fight, but that's all it takes here. They're gonna go high ground again. Let's see. So they come around the corner here. They don't stay on the high ground long. They drop right away. All right, AKM just trying to laser down a little bit here. Michelle takes a ton of damage. AKM seen better days himself. Self-destruct over the top. Let's see what this force is. Oh, there it is, Unko. He couldn't get away. It was far too open for him. And now in his absence, Jehon gets to celebrate with a transcendence. Look at that. That's so efficient from Sol. A couple ultimates, break it open. And now they're on the road. And it's a tough spot for OG. I mean. He sees the self-destruct go up, and he's trying to like back into the corner and put the shield up. But he sees that he's got you no know, Fissure running directly at him, and Munchkin trying to get to the side of him to bash. And Unko is just out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Dallas will still be able to attack this. Jay Hong, oh, he was low. Nice sound barrier timing, no self-destruct. Jay Hong didn't see it. I don't think he even knew that was happening. He's down. Fisher tried to get away, but in doing so, Sol had to split. And Dallas can come back in. There's seven seconds left in the round. This could be a complete disaster for Sol if they can't come back and respond. Munchkin tries to step forward. OG was shattered, but Fish had to give his life to knock him down. Michelle now up on that pale of transcendence here. And Dallas are more than happy to hold on. j Hog returns with a wrecking ball and self destruct in over the top. Michelle has to make a difference here. He gets closer. That is definitely going to be what they're looking for, but they need more. j Hog Discord and Unco chunking him down, and he's finally fallen to Michelle. Picks up AKM now, and it's just scant seconds remaining here. A couple players left. Dallas still with the numbers. RCK's mech has been removed. Unko getting damage done. He's so safe in the back, and that's it! Gives them 
just a sniff of the cheese and the Dallas Fuel will have the whole smorgasbord. You know, we've seen some really nice self-destructs from RCK tonight. That positioning there on that one, able to take out Jay Hong, really turns the tide in Dallas' favor. As you see a closer on the stage there, he's like, what is going on tonight? Some crazy back and forth games. OG just chilling, he's like, yeah. This is another day playing main tank, just getting bashed around all over the place. That crew's just like, I'm, trying playing, to, I'm playing Briggs, smile. Just trying to live. Let's have a look at that. I yeah. mean, I believe this comes over the archway. He, 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 or he threw. threads a needle, he threads a needle, yeah. So this was after the fact, that was Michelle's self Yeah, that was yeah. Michelle's self destruct there. But the RCK's comes right over the top of that archway and able to take you know, out Jay Hong. I'm trying to look at Soul, and I'm trying to, you know, formulate an opinion, I guess, on where things are going wrong for them there. It definitely feels like Fisher is not able to do the Fisher things that we saw him do earlier in the week. He's a little bit quieter. Attack Michelle didn't die in that round. Yeah, and I, I know M Michelle ate, ate, a, ate a grab during that half. Three self-destruct kills, <laughs> well, one half. Yeah, like, there's nothing I mean, put really... it in perspective, RCK only killed Jay Hong with self-destructs yeah. in that round, but that was enough. I, I, I think this map, I think this is just like a, this map's really tough to attack on. Like, I know this is a, one of the maps where you load into a game and you want to be on defense, right? Like, uh, you can set the tone on defense here early. That Dallas Fuel will attack. They're going to go with the Sombra strat here, at least to kick things off. I, I like the Sombra call here. You get one big EMP, goes in your favor. It's a good chance they take the map. It's really good in the underpass as well when that second fight comes, where you can just kind of contest for a while. They have to sit down there, you can hit a good EMP. Well, we see perspective from RCK now, so Dallas probably aren't surprised to learn of the team composition they're going up against, but more importantly, the hope that RCK can pressure someone like Jay Hong down a little bit more. Dallas, in much the same way that Sol did, will take to the high ground and again try and find a way in. Just a hack here from RCK will pull players but back. One. They get one onto Munchkin. Munchkin's actually forced all the way around. He's in a really bad spot. I mean, oh, there it is. That's two. I mean, that would have forced Soul back if Munchkin could get back, but he couldn't escape from that position. Oh, it's a whitewash. Dallasville just rolled over the top of the Soul Dynasty, and they are so far away from being able to come back into this fight. Uh, you're going to be coming through this choke. If this fight goes a little bit, OG with a, you know, a shatter after a hack here. Better run. Michelle's there. Munchkin got bubbled up and yes, not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hat. This one's about to get spicy. Zachary sitting in the back of the payload. OG's there. Jay Hong's the first. Casualty. Fisher the second. EMP coming out. And the Dallas Fuel. Send the dynasty up in flames. And that's what we call perfect combustion. Really strong series from both of these teams tonight to end it, Mitch. Dallas just showed you know, their potential, what they've been working on in the offseason. You no know, pays off here in their match against Seoul. Seoul also, you know, they obviously is adding a lot of new players to the mix. Still getting things, uh, you know, in a, in a game ready shape here. It's their second game, but still a one on one week for them, really good. This really gives context as well to what the Dallas players were saying about their first match in this season. They said, We just weren't there. We were playing scared. We were frantic. Now you see crisp disengages, fantastic coordination, clean engages, and great integration of Sombra into their team comps. It works perfectly. Even a fantastic moment from AKM. Oh, you love to see it. We're going to head down and hear from OG with Danny Lim. Thank you guys so much. The arena is burning blue, right, guys? I have OG here. OG, congratulations on the win. Now, I feel like compared to your first match um, tonight, you guys completely dominated your game. What went, what went different for you guys? So, 저번 첫 번째 경기에 비해서 이번 게임이 굉장히 달라스 팀이 정말 너무나도 달라진 모습을 많이 보여준 것 같아요. 어, 오지희 선수 좀 뭐가 많이 달라진 말 안쪽으로 뭐가 좀 많이 달라졌나요? 일단 저 저희가 스크림 안에서는 엄청 괜찮게 하는데 이제 이제 대회장에 와서 딱첫 번째 경기를 엄청 긴장도 많이 했고 이제 이제 딱 게임할 때 너무 높아지는 그러니까 전부 다 콜을 하고 싶어지고 흥분하는 것 때문에 약간 문제가 되었고 오늘도 약간 조금 문제가 있었지만 그래도 다행히 이긴 것 같아요. So, for the first match, I feel like uh, during the scrims we played really well, but 
oh, as soon as we got, got on stage, uh, the nerves kind of kicked in, and we were just really, really excited, and we couldn't really focus. But tonight, we were focused, we were ready, and I am very happy that we got the win. All right, next game. Next match, you will be facing the Guang Guangzhou Charge. How confident are you that you guys are going to win? 자, 다음 매치. 누구나 가죠? 광소 차지랑 붙게 될 텐데요. 오지 선수, 얼마나 자신 있습니까? If I'm not nervous, I, I think we will easy. You guys are the man. Make some noise for OG, guys. That's it for me, everybody. Back to the casters. Thank you very much, Danny.